Breaking news right now at ABC 15 Arizona. We have learned that former Arizona Senator John Kyle will replace Senator John McCain. Governor Ducey making that announcement about an hour ago or so there at the state capitol. Nohilani Graf was inside for that announcement. And Nohe, this is someone with a very long history here in Arizona and a close friend of John McCain. Absolutely. In fact, Governor Ducey says that he spoke to Senator McCain's widow, Cindy McCain, just this morning. She gave her consent and was happy with this nomination. Of course, former Senator Kyle also speaking during the memorial events for Senator McCain here in Arizona. And he himself served right alongside Senator McCain for about two decades. Meantime, Governor Ducey says that this is the best choice for Arizona to fill those very big shoes that are left open by Senator McCain's passing. He also says that in his time with the Senate here in Arizona, he was a champion for water and land use rights. He knows Arizona's issues and will make the best choices. In the meantime, Senator Kyle spoke up and said that he is happy to do his duty for Arizona, but also this is a bittersweet appointment for him. I am grateful for Governor Ducey's confidence in me and honored to accept this appointment. We're all saddened by the circumstances that required the appointment and appreciate that there was only one John McCain. John and I served the people of Arizona together for nearly 20 years. And in that spirit, along with Senator Flake, I will do my best to assure that Arizonans continue to be well represented in the U.S. Senate. Senator Kyle has been working closely with the White House on the Senate confirmation of President Donald Trump's nominee to the U.S. Supreme Court, Brett Kavanaugh. Now, to that point, Senator Kyle is now headed back to Washington, D.C., because he has been guiding Brett Kavanaugh through the confirmation process. This also positions him to be able to cast a vote in Kavanaugh's favor, which he says he will do. When asked also how uh, Senator Kyle feels about President Trump, because in the past he has called his tactics and his attitude boorish when he's trying to get his agenda through, Senator Kyle says that he stands by that statement, but he's also looking forward to trying to work with his fellow senators to get issues that are important passed and also get Kavanaugh uh, confirmed in this process. In the meantime, uh, Kaylee and Dan, Senator Kyle says that he will not commit to running in 2020 for the office. He is only committing to staying through this congressional turn. He says that he wants to do his duty, but he did retire for a reason before. So time will tell on that one. I would have loved to have been in the room when Mrs. Kyle right. found out that they were going back to Washington. No, oh, hey, thank you for that. We appreciate it. As you can imagine, reaction has been quick to come in, mostly praising this pick here in Arizona. Yeah, Cindy McCain, the first to tweet out her own endorsement saying, quote, John Kyle is a dear friend of mine and John's. It's a great tribute to John that he is prepared to go back into public service to help the state of Arizona. Senator Flake also taken to Twitter saying, quote, Governor Ducey has selected Senator John Kyle as Senator McCain's replacement. What an excellent choice. There is no one more qualified and Arizona is well served. Kudos to Senator Kyle for his willingness to serve once again.